You know, since Bex Calibre came out, I've always thought of pairing it with this card, but I can never find the right time. Oh, but today, lads and ladies, it is time. Time to play it with the Curum V Max. With that max frost attack, where you could do 120 plus 50 for each energy attached to it, of course, you have to discard the energy to do the extra damage. Now, obviously, we have Chen Pao in this format. And yes, I do have a Chen Pao in this deck. And you might think it's better because it's a basic and it has a Hail Blade, which is a 60 damage modifier with one less energy across requirement. Over the free energy across requirement and the max frost, which is a 50 damage modifier. But my friend, you actually need less energy to take bigger KOs. The Curum actually only needs 4 energy on it to hit 320 damage, when a Chen Pao with 4 energy only does 240. Meaning with 5 energy on a Kirin V Max, which is not hard in a typical Bax Calibre build, you can 1-hit KO everything in the game. And on top of that, with a 330 HP Pokemon. Yes, it is a free prize, and that's something to take into account. But you could end up in a situation where with just this one Kirin V Max, you could KO 2 Charizard EX, and then just follow up with another Kirin for game. But at least that's just my case for this card now. Now, let's just get some games and let's see how good it actually is. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off. TCG Bulk, where you can buy and sell your bulk cards and whatnot. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. All right, Penny Kings, Garchomp, which is really fun. The hand is trash though. <laughs> the hand is really bad. So let's just play it out. We'll go for it. A shivery chill here. You never know if they just pass, we win. So <laughs> let's go. There's an energy on the gibble. Ultra ball. So no, no donk for us. Getting rid of two energy there. That's nice. And get a squawk. Throwing the squawk down. And they Iona us. I am not against that. To be fair, that's energy gone, but I have shivery chill again. So we're fine. Just give me an out to a fridge. Okay, that's a lot of Pokeballs. But then none, no Pokeballs there. Ultra balls and nest balls. They get a VIP, but oh my god, they are setting up lovely. Can't hate it though. You cannot hate it. Oh, it's the task. Oh, oh, let's go. I am down for this, man. Just just let me develop my board a little bit. Let's have a full-on game, man. Full beat stick. Let's go. I'm down for this. 310! Bloody hell, mate. This is fun. We know we're going to be seeing some uh, some path in play now. And uh, that's actually not too bad because of the Curum. The Curum doesn't rely... Obviously, we don't have Shivery Chill as much. And I know Shivery Chill is really what makes Chen Pao work. But the fact that we don't have that actually kind of benefits us in the path matchup. Because, well, we don't need to worry so much about that. In comparison to just locking in with Chen Pao, you know? Either way, let's slip the wing. They did discard a Garchomp there, weirdly enough. But I think it's because they haven't squawked yet, have they? They haven't. This is a fantastic Start. I mean, it is going second, so you usually do have a good start. Are you looking forward to that supporter card, by the way? The supporter card, with his, which is like you can just pay it on your first turn going first, and it's discard draw five. That's a good supporter for turn one, I think. I think that's really nice. If you got a dead hand going first, like I did, then if I just had an out to that, like if I had an ultra ball, I could have played the supporter turn one. That's really good. Either way, um, yeah, I, I also, I did review that a little bit on my channel on the membership side of things. So yeah, if you remember and you haven't seen that yet, check it out. Anyway, we're just going to bounce the path. Let's shivery chill. We want to increase the odds of hitting uh, important, the trainer cards here. But I, I actually do think I go for an Iono here. I think Irida is just not good. Let's just get a Kurum out. I think I will attack with the, the Hellblade this turn. I'm going to Ultra Ball away these two as well and get myself that Bidoof. Um, I could, could have got another Fridgy, but I just want to make sure I've got the core down at least before I start, you know, branching out. It's like I'm talking about a franchise here. Yeah, so the hands looking okay. The hands looking all right. We have the arena and yeah, there you go. That's that's actually quite nice. Um, we'll go for a nest ball. We'll get ourselves another frigid bat and we're definitely not behind the race. So do I just go full send and commit? No, I won't commit. I want I want to commit. I do want to commit and just go full cura, but uh, no, not yet. Next turn, we definitely can. We're going to need four energy, which is so nice instead of six, right? We're going to need four energy in order to take out, and we basically have it, yeah, to take this out. So that's insane. And to be fair, even four energy takes out the Garchomp. So we could absolutely sweep here with Kurum. There's a Gibble down. They go for an energy on that active Gibble. You need an Arena, my guy. Let's be Barrel. Come on, I actually want them to get the Garchomp because I want to want it KO it. <laughs> oh, they've lost another one. That's two Garchomp down, mate. Yikers. Vessel coming in as they, I, I would fail the Vessel. No, you fail it. So that way you get more off the Bit Barrel, unless they already have it. Yeah, they do. So why did you Pokestop first? Wait, hold on. I'm so confused. They haven't Bit Barreled yet, have they? No. So you play a Reader, 
get Garchomp out, thin out, then Poker Stop. It's a sequencing thing, my guy. That said, I can't say anything. I can barely sequence myself. So it's 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 fine. Also, I just realized they actually haven't got the KO here. Oh, no, I could just, yeah, they haven't got the KO here. I could just KO with the Chimp out, right? Yeah, for some reason, I thought they didn't have the KO. No, they do. Oh, they're just going to go. <laughs> go to Bit Barrel. That's fair. They don't want to get one shot. Oh, wait. No, that's not what's happened here. So I think I bring up a Frigid Bags. Yeah, let them take the KO and then I'll come up Cure them. Yeah, because it's less, less energy needed. And this was the case I was making, right? In this situation, I'm going to need to get six energy, which I could still do. I, I'm confident with this hand I could hit that six. But just needing four instead. And I know I keep hammering it and going on about it, but it is nice to just need less energy in general to take those KOs. So then later on in the game, you have more available and you're a bit less reliant on your retrievals compared to a Chempel. Um, but obviously there's the downsides, right? It's a free prize, all that jazz. And I'm acting like I've got a Curum anyway. I don't even have a Curum in hand. I need to get a Curum out. So maybe I do go Chempel here because it just guarantees that KO and then I follow up with Curums. I just don't like the fact the price trade though. So if I do this and then they KO and then I come up with Curum, then they just need to take out the Curum. So I'm going to try and commit to the Curum. I'm going to see if I can pull it off. I think it might actually be more worthwhile. Let's go for that. Let's go for this. I'm going to go for a Vessel and I'm going to... I'm going to have to get the two energy, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, we're going to run it, bro. We're just going to commit. <laughs> Let's just do it. Gonna arena for back some rare candy and we need to get an ultra ball here basically. Oh god. <laughs> it's a bit risky but screw it. Let's go man. We gotta run it man. We gotta hit the cure bro. We gotta, we gotta hit the cure Come on. One, two, three, four. I'll put one here as well. We'll get it. Don't you worry about it. Can I incise this? Thank you. We'll be fine. Uh, okay. Well that's just ruined everything. Why are you gonna kill the buzz like that man? Why are you gonna, why are you, why are you gonna, why are you gonna, why are you gonna be like that bro? I'm gonna have to give him <laughs> yeah, I know. I could have just gone Chen Pao, but we're here for Kira, man. Let me play, bro. It's fine. We'll just sweep him in return. It's okay. Are they going to go in, Sunny? They are. They're going to go into the... They could just boss me up. And I just got to shut up and not talk. They boss up by Kira. They're going to be able to take it out. And now I look stupid. Now I look like a donut. There's the great bash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm not salty. You are. All right. So now I'm definitely going Kira because I'm annoyed and I just want to win. So let me do it. I'm going to go throw a rod here and get some energy back. How about that? How about, how about that, you fraud? Let's bring up the Arida. You. And we get you. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Problem solved. No, no worries. There ain't no worries. You know? Yeah, let's, let's just move. Let's just... <laughs> it's a problem-free philosophy, one would say, that we are currently residing in. I get rid of these two. And then just, just go for the KO, man. Just just take the thing out. And if it takes a hit, fine. We'll start going with it. With the chimp out. Just a bit behind, unfortunately, because of that terrible play on my part. But it's just, it's Pokemon. We just do our thing. There's a KO. And we need to take three prizes. This is a bit awkward. I need to find Iono. Iono would be nice. Nice here. But even then, is that really going to stop them? I tell you what, we do awkwardly survive a two shot from Garchomp if they don't have any damage modifier, which I think might not be the case. So if they get another bash down, bash, man said bash. If they get another tusk down, which they just have, then if they hit me here for 160, I could just gust it and want it KO it and they still cannot KO me for game. So I could still technically sweep here. So they need that literal 10 extra damage in order to win. Otherwise, I could still win here. It's just a little bit, a little bit sketchy. That's all, you know? That's it. I still need the four energy, so I don't know what I'm talking about. There's an Arida. Are they just going to get themselves another Garchomp out? I mean, they can, right? They're going to get a Manaphy and a Vessel. They're going to Earthen Vessel here. Get rid of the Manaphy and find the one energy that they have left, clearly. Bro is on a thinning mission. And there is the Hydro Lander. Have to boss this turn, so Arida's off the table. Need to find a Poker Stop, you know? That's really what we need in here. And we top deck it. All right, sweet as mate. Never punished. All right. All right. Okay. Don't get carried away. Don't get carried away, Shawnee boy. Let's... We have to go to the boss. That's the only way we're doing this. So I'm going to commit to it. We go for... I'm tempted to rod back. Yeah, I think I rod back just Kurum. Sure. <laughs> Watch me draw a Kurum now. I'm going to... Don't, don't speak, Sean. You're ruining it every time. Okay. Woo. That was very scary, but we do have the KO here. And I think I just take it. Grab it by the horns, mate. Fully grab that Donny and just get rid of the tusk and hope that they cannot KO you, which I think is going to be the case. And then we just sweep with the Curum. No problems in the slightest here. Hey ho, let's even go for another poker stop. I will not be punished for that. Yeah, actually, that's not bad. More discard fodder, so I'll take it. Oof, Jesus Christ. Okay. Max Frost, I actually didn't need four. I needed three because three is 270. Yeah, I've overcommitted there, but it's fine. I'm too used to the four. One, two, three, and that is 270. That takes the KO. If they don't KO me here, it is GG for me. It has to be, right? I mean, they could also go for a, uh, uh, they try and trap my bit barrel, but we have the resources, bro. So a bit, a bit dicey at the start there, I can't lie. A bit, a bit, a bit of overcommitment to the Kieran, but we're here for it, man. I'm not here to play Chen Pao. Just watch someone else. They do it all the time. Me? I want me dragon. All right, I want me dragon to be dragging you to hell. Either way, 
Do they have the modifier? Because as it stands, it's not enough. Oh, the counter catcher. They might counter catch the backs caliber. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, they could, they should they should counter the backs, right? Oh, I didn't think of getting another fridge backs down. Oh god. Did I have the ultra ball artist taking prizes or before? I swear I had that before. I have just screwed up. <laughs> oh, I've screwed up so badly. Okay, there's the counter catch. Why are you doing the jumper? What are you doing? He's not taking out the backs. Bro, what are you? What? Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't understand this. I really want to take the KO with the Curum. I really want to. I really want to. Do I do I go for the retreat play? Oh, I want to do it. I mean, I think I need the same energy count anyway, right? So yeah, I, I need to, I need four more energy. Oh, GG. <laughs> Why are you not taking this out? What was that? Bro, people are going to think I have paid actors. I, I don't. I swear. <laughs> Blood is paying for actors or something. What is going on? All right. All right. Don't mess it up, Sean. Don't mess it up. You just attach, retreat, swing. Simple, right? And yeah, I, I know I could do it with Chen Pao right now, but, but this is not the Chen Pao show. This is the Curum show. Let's go in with the Curum and just finish the job. Jesus, that was way too much stress than it should have been. Max Frost, and we just delete the Garchomp. Big, big damage. We went 320, 270, 370 on the trot. That's what I'm talking about. Oof, so scary. <laughs> but we did it. We did it, boys. On to the next one now. Right, then, let's see what we got here. We have a Mew and a Bidoof. Starting the Curum, which going second, you kind of don't want, but... Here we are. What do we have with the rapid freeze? Any number of energy from your hand. Oh, so I could actually set up a Curum ahead of time here. Even when they get an Ultra Ball. And they just pass? Okay. Cheers, mate. I appreciate that. And a top deck of a Frigibax. We'll get ourselves a Frigibax down. And do I go for Ninja here? I think I might go for the Greninja. I'm tempted to get Bidoof down. Actually, I only play a 1-1 line of Bidoof but Barrel to kind of fit in the Curums. But it is there. I could go for that. But I don't have supporter cards. Um, I could have an out to Bidoof with the Pokestop. But I think Greninja probably is just a bit more reliable for the time being. Let's... Do I stop first or... I think I can steal cards first, right? I want to get in a read it in hand before I start stopping. But if I have to just stop now, I might. Um, Or do I keep waiting here? There is no rush, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for a collect with the frigid bats. Let's go for that and just draw a card here and just give us a little bit more. Oh, it's an arena. So thank God I didn't poker stop because I was tempted to. But I'm just going to go in a collect with the backs. There's a mysterious tail coming in. They get an ultra ball. Bit barrel coming down. And they play an Arvin. So what is this? Arvinzard? Well, not Arvinzard, but Bit barrel Arvinzard. But yeah, it's still Arvinzard. What are you doing, you fraud? What are you joking, bear? There's a choice belt and an S ball. Still no giveaway as to what this deck is yet. But they are going to play a level ball and we're going to see what we're playing against finally. I have a feeling it's TM Zard. It is TM Zard, definitely. But they didn't get a TM Evolution, which means they probably have it in hand. So they should ultra here for another Charmander, attach energy, TM, evolve, and then you're good to go. But me, I just want to KO Charizard like it's nobody's business. And they give it a choice belt, which is weird because that actually does apply here. Wait, and they get in hand, Zard? Okay, so instead they're going for the rare candy by the looks of it. I guess they prize the TM evolution, but usually TM Zard plays like two D two evolutions. If I'm correct, I don't know. Am I am I I think I'm just wrong, maybe. <laughs> Who cares? We have an arena. That's getting us backs, and I want to get into a position of getting the barrel. Barrel's like the key card here for me now. So, do I... Because I, I, To retreat, I need to get one more energy into play. I think I just go for another collect this turn. I mean, there's really no rush. Well, there kind of is, I guess. But I'm just going to go like this onto the bench for Javat. I just don't have the hand for it. I could also just poke a stop. And I think I will. I oh, should maybe nest board first. Yeah. Well, there goes the barrel. We have Rod for that, so that's fine. In fact, yeah, I nest ball here with the Bidoof. And then next turn, I Rod Big Barrel back Ultra Ball, right? I also shouldn't evolve. Should I evolve into... Curum. I mean, it has its, its Glaciated Wild ability, but that's... I don't want to do that right now. That's really strong in late game, by the way, if you just have, like, loads of energy in a deck. Couple Super Rods and then just Glaciated Wild, you can build up damage nicely, but we're not trying to do that. So I think because there's no reason to evolve it and they can't KO this Curum next turn, because they did just ditch their Choice Belt, I think we just simply collect. Yet again, and we're just trying to build a little bit of a setup here. <laughs> Enough Retrieval, please. I don't want any more of that. Maybe in that sense, I don't rod some energy back because the Retrievals could be used in that sense. I need to get five energy. That's what I need to do, though. Either way, there is a Red Candy into the Zard. They could boss up my Curum, which would be annoying. Here's to hoping they don't do that. If they get two energy down, one on the mute. The mysterious tail here. Getting a super rod. Just going to retreat here. I think they're just going to attack. No boss, no boss, no boss. Come on, please don't boss me up. Yes, there it is. Burning Darkness onto the collect for your backs. You did your duty. You fulfilled your duty. I do need to get another Frigid Backs down, though, because we are just a boss away from being in trouble. So I, I do need to get another Frigid Backs just for that confidence. Um, doesn't mean we're going to have to lose some important cards here. But I'm going to go for a rod, get Frigid Backs Barrel, and I think I'm going to leave the energy and then Ultra Ball away the Ultra Ball and Superior to get myself a bit Barrel so I can start drawing some bloody guards. So we need five. Three 
In the discard pile, so we just need two. A vessel will do it for us. I mean, we have outs to just Oko the Zard next turn. And we are bloody close. Jesus. Okay. Bloody hell. Uh, let's get another Frigid Backs down. We can obviously go for Concealed Cards because we can recover that energy still. So we go for Concealed Cards. I just need some more energy, please. Oh, we're just whiffing. Oh, my God. Um, I got to think now. I, I don't want to go for a Counter Catcher. I think I Ultra Ball these two away. Keep that Red Candy just in case. And get another Curum down. And I have to hope to get a vessel off of this poker stop if i do it is clutch oh just missed it but we're just gonna have to go for this play i could also glaciated world oh my god i misclicked what the hell man come on really you're doing that to me now bro this is ridiculous i can't believe i've done that i can't believe i misclicked that is so bad <laughs> <laughs> Literally the worst, worst situation. Now, the good thing here, all right, I'm not going to Glaciated World because now it doesn't actually make the difference. I should have got the fourth attached in Glaciated World. If I hit an energy there, then we would have actually got a one at KO. But I misplayed. So uh, this is typical. So I think I'm just going to max Frost and not do any discard because you can do that, by the way. You can just go for attack of 120, which means now I'm already one at KOing it next turn. I don't need more modification. That's something you cannot do with the Chen Pao. Or oh, they do get themselves another choice belt. So there was that threat. Again, thankfully, now it doesn't actually matter. They're going to be two at carrying me regardless. The things do. But actually, no. I was going to say things do get. Did I just see a heat more? Blood's got the anteater. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm trying to figure out in my head how it was, how it's all going to work mathematically, right? Because I like doing the two at carry thing at the start with the Kiram and then maybe following up another Kiram or following up even with a. Uh, well, don't tell me there was a point where I could have Radgun injured and I didn't. I don't think that's the case, right? Maybe I missed the opportunity. But either way. Let's just play the term before I finish my point. Well, actually, no. I, 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 uh, there it all is. Jesus Christ. I think I get rid of the boss. I think I get rid of the Luminion. Yeah. Okay, let's just get rid of the Luminion. Let's, let's just get some energy in. And now we have the Monokeo. KO. In fact, I could just prepare myself. So I need to do here 210, 120. So I can discard two energy off this Curum to hit 220. And that means I could... I need to be careful about my energy preparation here now. Because that's, I discard two. That means I need four. So superior energy retrieval will actually get me a KO on that if they come up with another Zarb but they're not going to come to another Zard. So I need to get these two energy onto the... It seems like they're not even getting an attack next turn. So I think I just put two on the Curum again. That seems correct to me. Right now, I'm going to just poke stop like crazy because I just need to get, no, energy and stuff. Yes, I think I just discard two here to hit a 220. Yeah, and it means I can attack next turn without having to play a superior energy retrieval. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, we're good. So yeah, they, if, if they came out with another Zard, they would have KO'd me. And then it'd be like a Curum where there's a risk of them being able to one it KO after I KO them because they would be here to... 300 choice belt 330 but the two choice belts are gone so even if they have a zard here for ko i still have the upper hand which is wild to think about it just goes so nicely into zard but to be fair chen Pao itself just goes nicely into zard anyway but it just is that extra the, the, the 330 hp is just really good padding you know and just needing less energy to take the big ko's also just feels good. And on top of that, uh, I was going to say something else, but no, I was going to say it's also weak to metal, which, you know, Chen Pao is also weak to metal. So yeah, <laughs> I was going to sit here and go, it's a different weakness. No, tell you what, you don't want to be playing this against Matang in the upcoming format. Hey, you just get absolute body. Yeah, oh, Radzard. I, I forgot you existed. Also, they put a reversal on the heat more. My guy, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you didn't read that card properly. And it's okay. Happens to the best of us. Happens to the best of us. I feel bad because I guarantee they put that heat more reversal in the deck thinking, oh my God, this is insane. Let's try it out. And then now they just went, oh, <laughs> I, I, I feel the pain, my bro. I feel the pain, man. Right. Let's bring, let's just get rid of that Radzard. That's why I like the higher boss count. I'm just going to get rid of the Radzard here. I don't remember how much energy I've got left in deck. I should have some more. And do you know what? Let's just, let's, it is thinning, isn't it? So I think I have like one more. Yeah, one more. It is thinning. There's no harm in it. And I could legitimately Radiant Greninja right now, couldn't I? It's it's aggressive and it's costly, but I might do it. Because I hit 180 on the... Uh, that's Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because I do I do hit 180 on the thingy. It means I'm getting rid of a lot of energy, though. What's my superior energy count right now? So I have two left. I've used one for the Greninja and then one for the final attack. Uh, I have a rod left as well. I, but they're not obviously going to... Yeah, I think I just win, right? Yeah, I just win if I Greninja now. So I think I go for Greninja. So I'm going to get rid of Ultra Ball and energy. I think boss and backs need to stay in hand. Then just retreats the Curum, go into Rad Greninja and just go for a free prize turn. Yeah, I think that's the play. The next turn if they don't KO me, then I could just Rad, Rad Greninja the heat more. Yeah, that, 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 that's that's correct. That's definitely got to be the play. But just being able to just deal with that Charizard so comfortably just opens up these kind of plays. I love it. 
It is really nice right now. Can I please take... What the hell? Oh, why am I thinking I'm taking three prize cards? I'm taking two. I'm so stupid, bro. Why did I think three? It's because Radzard's a rule box Pokemon. And I was like, oh, two prizes. No, you doofus. Either way, they go for the scoop. That was misplaced central. But then again, my opponent's deck. They tried being a bit too, too, too techy and it, it didn't pay off. Starting off with a pretty nice hand, if you ask me. I mean, uh, uh, all I need is to get that Frigibax out. And then that would just be absolutely creme de la creme. Uh, I'm going to have to do this then. I'm going to have to get rid of these two and then get myself a Frigibax down, I think. I think. And next turn, I mean, get back to Calabar, the top deck. It can be awkward, actually, because I do want to get a bit barrel out as well, but I don't want to discard the retrieval because we already have free engine and discard power to use it on. But let's just see what happens. It went, they go for a VIP pass here and they get themselves two Pidgey. Okay. They must be going for a call for family then, huh? Nope. They're just going to pass. All right, cool. Uh, what? Oh my God. <laughs> That's disgusting, mate. What the hell? That's illegal behavior. What, what the, what, what the, what the, bruh. So that means I can now, well, I think I'm going to have to ultra ball anyway, what I, whatever I take. So I think I just get myself another fridge back. Just ultra ball it away. Actually, I'll keep the collect one. Yeah. I don't know if I have to ultra ball away a superior, but I mean, I look at this top deck though. It's, it's awesome. Asking for Barrel to exist. I mean, that said, I could just go with the 140 Frost Smash, but I think consistency is just better. So let's just go for Bib Barrel here and try and get that Curum out. Open up that threat. You know, just say, hey, here we are. And so um, it's not the best, is it? But I do get energy. That's fine. That's at least okay. But it's uh, it's not a good attack. Oh yeah, I could go for Casil Cards, right? So I guess if I just find another superior, then we could do some stuff. Ah, there you go. Okay, sweet. Let's go for a poker stop. Risk it for a biscuit. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, God, I love this deck's ability to just find cards. It's so fun. I'm going to probably just get Chen Pao down as like a safety buffer. You know, make sure things are running smooth. Get rid of the poker stop and the nest ball and get some energy. So I think I don't actually want to... Oh, do I just... Do I just take the KO? I think I just still take the KO, right? I mean, even if I retreat to something as pointless. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Do I have a Greninja play here? Wait a second. Wait a second. Identify your play, Sean. If I put free energy on the cure and retreat, I'm putting free on that anyway, regardless of how this turn plays out. Retreat, superior away, energy and Iono. Then I can just go for a, a, a Moonlight Shuriken. Oh, yeah, we definitely do that play. It's, it's a very oppressive, but it could just win us the game. All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So we're going to Gre uh, Greninja. Super oppressive, right? Because that's a lot of superiors already gone. In fact, was that my third? I think it's my third. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a bit too aggressive. Oh, no, it's my second. Wait, please let me please be my second. It's my third. Okay, yeah. Uh, maybe I'm going a bit too hard, but pointing out something very obvious that I, I pointed out in a game earlier that well, I don't know if it's coming before or after this just yet. But the Curum can just attack without having to discard energy, which is like a very big deal. Because in these types of games where, you know, you've gone hyper aggressive, energy count could be a bit weird and your resources are burnt, then you can just at least attack with the Kieran VMAX and not have to discard. Meaning with just a charged up Kieran VMAX, you can still 2 it KO a Charizard without needing to do anything else. No extra attachments, nothing like that. And that also feels pretty good. Now, of course, we do have our rods, so that's going to go a long way too. But I think our rods, yeah, get free energy back and then go and try and get Frigibax down so we know our board is safe. I mean, we have so much time. We've just moved that Shuriken then turn one. Why they didn't get a Manaphy blows my mind. And they just pop. Well, that's just GG, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's wild. That's absolutely wild. I'll throw that in the video for just a bit of fun. It's not actually Curum. It's just Greninja Town. But you, you got to love seeing it, man. you got to love seeing it. There you go. Wow, even more energy. I didn't know I priced that much energy. Bloody hell. Starting with a Chen Pao, funny enough. I'm not hating it. We're playing Valiant, which means the Frigid Backs is at risk. But <laughs> we have to do it. So there you go. Let's get a Curum out as well. Double VIP pass is, at the start is just disgustingly good as well. It honestly is so nice. <sighs> God, they're just going to KO my Bidoof. Is it worth risking bringing it out? It might be because we have the Ultra Ball, which will get me out. So maybe, but fine. If they take out the Bidoof, they take out the Bidoof. If not, then sure. I don't want to give them that much ammo. So maybe I go for this play. But then they could just take out the Frigibacks and then I just kind of lose as well. So I have to do this? Is that what I have to do? I already have two attackers down anyway, so I think I have to do this. Yeah. And go for a Shivery Chill to thin out. Let's get that going. Definitely attach to the Chen Pao. And then end my turn. Okay. This is going to be an awkward one, man. going to be an awkward one. But if we can get that Curum pumping, we're, we're looking good. There's a Techno Radar. Get rid of Basin, so it's Entei. Okay. So they might just take an Entei KO here, if anything, if they don't pop off with any sort of... Um... But it's so easy for them to pop off with the Medicham. It really is. There's Squawk. There's Medicham. Valiant coming down. And another Valiant coming down and a forest just uh, they have it there's just there's just no way in hell that they don't they just have it in that case i think i bring up greninja what are they gonna ping here maybe my badoof no they're gonna go for the, they're gonna go for the 70 hp donny another one i think i bring up my chimp out <laughs> two ropes in hand turn one vip pass forest seal stone and a squawk 
It is a dirty hand, and they've got all of it. And an Iono. Oh my god, it's like the perfect hand. Jesus Christ, are they playing cards? Because it's brutal, this. Future booster coming in. I can't, I'm almost looking in awe. Like, I'm just, I'm not even angry. I'm like, bro, you're just getting everything. You can't even hate it. All I need is a switch card now, and they have their, uh, their, their play. There's a VIP pass. They still haven't squat, need I remind you. And they still have their V-Star power, need I again remind you. Don't tell me they even squat a fire energy to activate Magma Basin. Don't you dare. Go for a switch cart. They're not committing. Oh no, they're going to fleet footed then. Oh wow, they're trying to maximize it then. Okay. A rope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, at this way, I might as well just promote the Frigid Max, right? <laughs> I really should. But on the off chance, I think I throw up. I'm gonna throw up Curum. Screw it. Let's go. I'm gonna put that pressure on me. Put that pressure on me. I'm here for it. Actually, that was stupid. Because then it could just magma base in me next turn and KO the Curum for 220. Oh no, they can't. They can't do 220 because they're KOing a Pokemon. Okay. Right, well, they're gonna put off the Metacham. There you go. That is just terrible. Terrible, terrible stuff for us. But if they whiff the KO on the other Thrigid Thrigibax, yeah, say it with a TH. With the other Thrigibax, then we could be talking. I mean, good thing is they haven't got Magma Basin, so it's gonna be at least a little bit more difficult to attack with the Entei, but I'm not convinced. I think they should have the Entei hit here. But if I could just keep that Frigibax alive, we still have a chance. I say I as if I have a, 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 a say. I don't. I don't have a say. They do get another Tachyon bits. And they are... Maybe I should have gone for the triple fridge then? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for the triple fridge. But they retreat. Get another one. If they just pull off one more switch card, and then they, they have it. Energy on the Entei. Research. They, sh they should. This should be it. Now, there's one thing that we can go for here. We do have... Okay. We do have Rapid Freeze. Oh, wait. Have they got it? Oh, of course they got it. Yeah. They're going to go straight into the fridge backs. Tachyon bits now. I could Rapid Freeze here. I could Glaciated World and go with that. Iono seems right. Like, Iono, Glaciated World and... Because Iono is what typically kills these kinds of decks, right? Like they even get the MJ. <laughs> it is just disgusting. I have barely played the game and they've already gone this far. It is horrible how, how, how abusive this deck is. It's just, it's, it's, it's perfect for them, isn't it? So we have a V-Star power. I think going for a rapid freeze seems a bit stupid. I could also boss, um, but they, they're boss sticking in a Chen Pao. It's just a stupid idea. I can rapid freeze onto a Chen Pao and also onto another Curum. So I think I go for that play. Also, I'm going to put the stone down here. And I think I'm going to go for an Iono. So they had a perfect start, but so I not they can see it through. That's really what it's about. Just getting some energy would be nice. Yes. Okay. That's good. Um, let's go for a poker stop here. I think I go for the stop first and that's horrible. I just lost literally my fridge backs, which is what I needed, but I do have star alchemy for a rod, which will get some fridge backs back. I'll have to ultra ball for them, but it needs to happen, man. It needs to happen. Fridge backs. I get the 70 HP one and a water. Oh, I might need to get the second one. You never know. So we ultra ball away. I think I should have done this. No, I couldn't have, I couldn't have done this differently. I think I, I'm going to be risky here and get rid of these two and then just get... I could be Barrel, actually. Yeah, maybe I'll be Barrel instead. Yeah, I'm going to try and draw with bit Barrel. I know I could have Bat's Caliber next turn, but I'm already popping off a little bit with Rapid Freeze that I might actually be able to take a KO and then set up the next turn. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay, I have free Rare Candy, so I can actually get rid of Rare Candy here with the with the, the Vessel and then just Rapid Freeze my way through. Yeah, I think that's what I do. So I'm going to Rapid Freeze here. I'll get... I, I have to put... I'm going to put three on the Cure Room and I think I put one here. I know they could... K, I know they're probably going to KO this Pokemon. Um, oh, wait, they could actually just go for a Yoga Loop on my Curum. That'd be wild. Well, if that happens, it happens. What can you do? But if they just KO me with the Magma Basin, uh, so <laughs> with the Magma, yes, that's a Magma Basin. If they KO me the Entei, finally take two prizes, but I can just hopefully like steamroll with Curum and Chen Pao a little bit. God, it's a big ask though. It's a real big ask. There's a research. Getting rid of a lot of cards there and uh, still no indication as to how this might go. They get a switch card. They've pulled off a, they, yeah, they've pulled off a Yoga Loop. Yeah, that's just brutal. That is absolutely brutal. I'm going to have to give them a... Oh, God. I swear, if I have to take six prizes with one or two Pokemon, it's still possible. I'm just waiting for this deck to burn out because they are going hyper-aggressive. They've lost an Entei. This deck usually plays two, right? Um, What's their Rod situation? I haven't seen a Rod yet, but they've got 10 cards left in deck. Granted, they are popping off, but realistically, there's a chance that they just burn out and I just sweep them. That's what I'm That's what I'm gunning for here. There's a switch. And, and this is why you... I, I like the uh, the Urshifu build as well because the, well, the fighting allows Melichan to attack. The Entei build doesn't, if I'm correct. Oh, they boss. Oh, for God's sake, of course they do that. Of course they even get a boss. This is the perfect game. I'm actually jealous. <laughs> Legitimately, I've never seen this level of consistency and power from Entei in one game. It's insane how good it is. So, I think I have to get Bridget backs down if I have a chance here. But I need to now probably attack with the uh, with the bloody Chen Pao. Probably will, yeah, I do evolve to this to prevent a Yoga Loop play. I mean... 
Again, this Kira could still sweep if they just don't have any attack attackers left. That's also legit. I uh, yeah, I have to attack Kira in this turn, don't I? Yes, I do. And I have to discard an energy to do it as well. To take the KO. Okay, let's go for a poker stop. Yeah, I know. It looks it looks stupid, right? It looks like I'm just I'm, I'm coping. I'm a full copium. But believe me, they've discarded their whole deck. Alright, th there's a chance. There's a legit chance still. It's just very slim. And you have to play to the end, man. You gotta try. Got rod in hands. We are looking okay. Let's just take the KO here. Discard one. That will do enough. And now we hope that they they haven't got a yoga loop play, which is uh, uh, honestly, as I said, just full coat. But they're free switches down, free switch carts, free rope. I'm sure they haven't got enough to put free damage counters and yoga loop with this deck right now. I'm so confident in that. Then I just retreat the Kurum, attack the Chen Pao, you know, just, just multiple attacks. GG. There's still a chance. So yeah, they're not going for the Fidget Bats. They're going to obviously try and go for the Kurum. They could still just, you know. Wait, what's their Magma Basin now? They're all four are gone? How are you winning? They got an Ente, but there's no Magma Basin. I guess they just try and boss. But if I get a boss on that and take it out. See, I told you there's a chance here, man. I'm telling you. This Dolly just burnt out like it's insane. So here we got to think. I definitely get back to Caliber Fidget Bats out, I think. For sure. We get that. We also... Oh, God. Oh, counter Catcher. Yes, yes. That's huge. Yeah, we Counter Catcher because that means I can boss up the... Yeah, yeah. That's sweet. Yeah, we're cooking. So let's go for that play. I don't actually need to accelerate energy this turn. I just need to attack. Also, I have Shivery Chill still available. Oh, oh, we're actually coming back, you know. I told you, man. It looked... I've never seen such a perfect game, but this is why... The Bit Barrel exists, by the way. Uh, actually, to be fair, it doesn't matter. They have a big hand, so maybe I'm waffling. I'm absolutely waffling. Um, Right, so we bring up this. That's for sure. We uh, accelerate to... I think I get one on the Bit Barrel, because they could try and boss trap me, and that's something that could happen. Well, th they would lose in that way, but I just want to be prepared. And I've got to watch out for Iono myself. I am going to attach manually to Kurum, because if they get a KO on Bax Calibur, then it doesn't remove anything on my part. Oh, which means I should get one more... Oh, I should get more energy down, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, but I don't want to discard a boss or anything like that that. Um, I might be overthinking it, to be fair to you. I think I just get rid of two energy here. I'll remove one off the Chen and one off of the Frigid Bat. Sorry, the Frigid Bat. <laughs> off of the uh, VMAX, so that way all of them, they're both attackers available if needed and the backs, the, the big barrel can't be trapped. Granted, the, the backs can be trapped, but yeah, it, with this hand, it's not happening. So, as I said, if they don't get a KO on a two-prizer here at least, we win. So, I'm just saying, we're sticking through, man. And you know I'm going to be taking it with Kurem because we're here for that, all right? Oh, it's the Rad Zard. No. Do they have the energy? Oh, I forgot the Zard existed. It's a research. Yeah, they, they must have it in deck. Otherwise, they, they, well, they know they lose if they don't. Oh, that is so annoying. I could have done it differently. What did I bring up? Well, I could have attacked with Bax Caliber, forced a single prizer. That was close. But to be fair, they had the best game I've ever seen. So they deserve it. What a roller coaster of a, a day that was. <laughs> Wins and losses, misplays and great plays. I mean, this video definitely had it all. So I hope you did enjoy it, all things considered. If I was to, if I was to suggest anything, try and find a way to put a third vessel in. You can't have trouble finding energy in the early game. And if you could squeeze in another Forest Seal Stone just for that little boost in consistency. But then again, like I, a lot of my games today weren't me trying to play the most optimal. It was trying to play the most optimal and play with Kurum VMAX at the same time because I just wanted to play Kurum. And it's just a lovely different way to play with the Bax Calibur, which I think is nice coming into the rotation. I know things get a bit boring, so this can uh, hopefully give you a little bit of a boost on the way there. But we're going to leave it there. Take care and peace. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.